Hello, look who I'm back with. Today we're gonna to be talking about, this is actually from your comments and your questions from the last video that I did with Phil, talking about fore and aft saddle position. So, you're gonna you you tell us how to get the right one. Your ideal saddle position is part of three things, the right saddle height, the right saddle tilt, and the right saddle fore aft. In other words, how far back you saddle or how far forward. And we've had a few comments about, well, how do you set the fore aft? Because we had to assume that was correct to make that video short, snappy, and informative. Okay, so saddle fore aft. I think a lot of people overcomplicate this or completely not consider it to their detriment, if that makes sense. If you've got it wrong, what you might be feeling, because that might connect a lot better. So if you've got your saddle too far back, in other words, all the way back on the saddle here, what often people can play about is really tight hip flexes because it will really close your hips up. Um, they will complain of maybe low back pain because you can be really flexed in the low back because the saddle's so far back, you still have to get to the front of the bike and a lot of that flexion will occur for the low back, so you yeah, can experience low back pain. You can also experience saddle sore because the right part of the saddle might not be matching where your pelvis is. So often when the saddle's all the way back, it's, it's sort of perching on the front of the saddle. It can give you numbness, pain, feel like you're hugging the nose of the saddle. Those are the things a lot of people experience. And often when the saddle's too far back, it just feels like the bike's really long and yet you're on a maybe a 90 stem. You think, well, it's not too, I can't shorten up anymore. The bike front end feels far away. That's your saddle fore after is wrong and it's too far back. Now let's come forward to, Saddle too far forward, the most common complaint nearly always with that is anterior knee pain. What do I mean by that? Your, your kneecaps hurt, all right? So you're getting from the kneecap pain, your quads feel very, 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 very tight. Some people even start to feel like they're getting too close to the front of the bar bars with their knees. I mean, that's really quite far forward, all right? Not a great position to be in and can cause knee pain and eventually knee injury. So you don't want to be too far forward. You don't want to be too far back. You want to be in the ideal place. So how do you find that? Well, for most people, if you're on an inline seat post like this, okay? Middle of the rails on a normal left saddle is a good place to start because it's basically average, right? But of course, not everybody's average, right? But some people need more help than that. That's why you might need a bike fit. So there's usual people, sometimes when you have really like a short inseam, short legs, long torso, or they're way around really long inseam, long legs, short torso, that takes a bit of manipulation. It might involve crank length as well, and then the right positioning of this. I often see a lot of people who are maybe on the, the crank length that the bike came with, um, and they have they move the saddle all the way back to accommodate sort of that long crank coming back on themselves like this, and that's a problem. You might notice with Katie here, she's she's really quite got a beautiful saddle height, really high because she's quite long in the legs. But only by dropping her crank length to 165, we're able to get her up and forward. This is really important. The saddle being foot in the right position for yourself, it means that the one thing we haven't talked about is, is losing power. Now. Most of your power in cycling, if you can get it right, will come from your hip extensor, your glute, your biggest, strongest muscle in your body. If you're sat all the way out there in my waiting room, you're not going to be able to stamp on the pedals, right? So being in the right saddle for raft, not only really important for your overall comfort on the bike, but really important for power production. If you're at the right saddle height with the right fore raft, you can get your hip extensor, your max glute, your glute med involved in pushing down the bike. So that's really important as well. Little tip for me to watch out for is if you've got a really offset seat post, don't be surprised that you have to move the saddle all the way forward on the rails to get it in the right position. Don't think that's far forward. The slight obsession with offset seat posts can often make you think if you set that middle of the rail, it could well be too far back for you. So on a traditional, um, so a more common short nose saddle these days, you may well have to have it all the way forward just to get you anywhere over that bottom bracket. So you can really get into your pedal stroke and get on top of that pedal stroke. As per usual, my bike fit is a multifactorial thing, but I want to save you some time and energy, right? To me, fore aft is fairly straightforward, all right? Okay, fairly straightforward. It does, as those outlier people's long legs, short torso, you know, all those different things, that's their problem. But if you're continually messing with your fore raft and can't go, consider this. Have you got the right saddle for yourself? And I mean that in three ways. One, the right shape, the right width, and the right length. Now, the trend these days is more towards short nose saddles. They generally need to be a bit further forward, but they go wider quicker, you know? If you're on the bike and you're constantly feeling like you're pushing yourself back on the bike and you're constantly moving yourself forward but never feel correctly supportive, that is a common set of things to complain about when you're not on the right whip saddle. You haven't got the support, so you're looking for it. You're searching for it by pushing back. And no amount of adjusting fore aft with the wrong whip saddle, be it too narrow or too wide, is going to affect. It's going to solve that. So consider that, you know. And then that. These days, the longest saddle available is about, about 30 centimetres, a physique arioni. Um, that's a long saddle to get the fore aft right because it's got a lot of different places you can sit with. 
the short nose saddles are much easier once you get the fore aft nailed and in the right place it's because it's shorter it's easier to find where you know to go and sit on the right place and it, it can be a little bit harder to dial in don't be scared of shoving those short nose saddles a little bit further forward maybe than your traditional longer saddle because that brings the base support to where it should be and actually that's the way they're meant to work and ideally where are we meant to actually be sitting are, are we are we meant to be sat above the bottom bracket as close as we can to the bottom bracket let's come to all our, our three pillars of fit again right remember comfort right power aerodynamics yeah you want to be as high as you can, as far forward as you can if you want to be powerful. That's how you set up a track sprinter, right? They set incredibly high, incredibly far forward because they can produce incredible power by pushing down, yeah? Remember, if I put my hand, that old analogy, if you're standing back there and trying to stamp on my hand here, you're not going to break my hand. But if you're standing above me and stamp down with your heel, that's why we want to get as far. But we don't want to get too far forward to put our knees under stress. That's my main, my main thing that I'm checking all the time when I'm getting someone in a good position is, where have I got the room to maneuver, you know? If the knee forward of foot, if you're getting too far forward and that knee starting to get way far over the foot because of the saddle, that's, that's dangerous for the knee and we don't want that, all right? So that's what you've got to be mindful of in there. Um, but, but saddle height in terms of that pillar of fit of power is really, and, for, and forward is really important for power. And then normally that's why time trial bikes have inline seat posts, all right? It's not, it delivers you a nice aero position in the back, but it, the main reason why a Tanjo bike it has a straight up seat post, it enables you to get right above the bottom bracket. So it's almost like trying to get as much as, as close to the top of the bottom bracket as you can without getting injured. Exactly. Okay. That, that's the it's weak point. Now that's not comfortable for everyone, right? So, so if you come in here and say, Phil, I want, the, I want to go as fast as I possibly can, I'm fairly fit, that, that's fine. You tailor the fit towards that. If you come in here, like you do, Katie, because I'm going to ride 200 miles, you bonkers idiot, in one, in one day, you know, what I would do with that is like, all right, we need a certain amount of power, but I don't. I want you to be comfortable, so I'll probably relax that off a little bit, so we have a comfortable back position and nice open hips. Remember, that's we. What's your goal, and then set your bike up for it. That sound good? Really good. Excellent. How's your back feeling? I went back. I did. I went to the gym this morning. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Didn't want to tell the world. <laughs> tell him. No, no, no. You tell him. And then he came in. He's like, I'm going to put an elbow in your glue. And I, I was like. No, it's so painful. But anyway. And what did you say afterwards? It feels a bit bad. There we go. Right. Yeah, okay. I'm a wuss when it comes to stuff like that. But all your questions, leave them in the comments. We will continue to make videos on the topics that you want answered and things that you're having trouble with, with bike fit. Phil is just, honestly, you're so, so good at explaining this. Thank you so much for Yep. And if, people, time. if you're struggling, we're always here for people who need more help. All right. That's all I'll say. All right. Thank you. Right. Cheers. See you all next video. Bye. Bye.